Well, good morning. Uh, my name is Robin Miller, and I want to welcome all of you here this Thanksgiving weekend. Hopefully you are stuffed to the gills with turkey, because I know I am. Um, just wanted to start out this morning reading a piece of scripture for you that has really come to mean uh, a great deal for me in my life, especially in my spiritual journey. And this text comes from 1 Thessalonians uh, chapter 5, and it's three verses, 16 through 18, but it's a very short verse. Uh, so uh, listen to these words. Be joyful always. Pray continually. Give thanks in all circumstances. For this is God's will for you in Jesus Christ. That is so short. Let's say that together. I'm going to confuse them. There we go. Let's say it together. Be joyful always. Pray continually. Give thanks in all circumstances. For this is God's will for you in Christ Jesus. And this is the word of God for the people of God. Thanks be to God. Thank you. And I, I know I confused y'all up there. Thank you for uh, indulging me there. Just three short little verses, but I think they mean so much. And it, this has just been a pivotal scripture for me in my, in my life. And, and, and let me share a little bit about why. Um, if you've worshipped here before, you might know a little of my story that I was out of church for about 15 years of my adult life. And when I finally got to the point in my life that I was willing to drag myself through the doors of the church for the first time in a long time, you know, I was a, I was a broken and, and, and hurting person. Um, I, I was disillusioned. Uh, there was just something that was missing in my life. And I know now that that missing thing was a relationship with Jesus Christ. I, and I know that that hole is what left me empty. Um, it left me searching. It left me wondering. It left me fearful. It left me shame-filled and guilt-ridden. And, and so it wasn't too long after I came back into the church. It was maybe even around Thanksgiving, to be quite honest. Um, I recall sitting in worship where the pastor was preaching on the text that we all just read together this morning. And, you know, so I heard those words, maybe for the first time, uh, they clicked in my head. And those words, you know, be joyful always and pray continually. And especially the line that says, give thanks in all circumstances. Give thanks in all circumstances. Now, I remember just being completely baffled by that text. And, you know, I don't think I heard anything else that the pastor said that morning. I was so puzzled by those words because, you know, like we all do, uh, I was going through a very difficult time at that point in my life. And, you know, when you're swimming through rough waters, it's hard to be thankful uh, for the circumstances in your life, right? I mean, I was thankful, you know, that I was back in church, that I, I had that going for me. I was uh, certainly thankful for the grace of God. That was huge in my life. Um, I was thankful for my beautiful kids. I had my wonderful family. But for everything else, all of the other stuff going on, I, I was not thankful for it at all. And so I started wondering, you know, as the preacher's going on, I, I said, I wonder if any of this is, you know, negotiable. Um, you know, maybe, maybe this depends on how uh, bad things are in a person's life or how long maybe they've been experiencing these tough times. You know, I wondered if God maybe took into account any extenuating circumstances or did God mean that we had to be thankful for all of it? And, and uh, you know, because the truth of the matter was, I wasn't thankful for all that I was going through. I mean, some of it, not even a little. And so all of this is going through my mind that morning as the pastor preached. And, and I'm turning it over in my head. And then I start to wonder, you know, if this is faith. If I've just read these words and this is what it means to be faithful. To rejoice always, to pray continuously, and to be thankful in all times. Can I even do that. And I 
I wondered, you know, if I can't, does that mean that there's something wrong with me? I mean, maybe I'm not cut out for this. You know, maybe I'm too broken to be fixed or, or maybe there's a statute of limitations on grace and I had waited too long or, or maybe I'm defective in some way because I am not the least bit thankful for this event that is happening in my life right now. And yet this scripture tells me I should be. So perplexed, um, after the service was over, I, I waited and I went up to my pastor after that. And I said, preacher, I want to ask you a question. And, and he said, well, sure, anything, what you, what you got on your mind? And I said, well, I want to talk to you. I said, uh, it's not about your sermon. Cause I didn't listen to what you preached about. <laughs> yeah, that's what every pastor wants to hear. Let me tell you. Um, I said, but you know, honestly, and, and, you know, all kidding aside, I said, I was having such a hard time with the scripture today. I said, those words really hit me, you know, especially that one verse that says that we should be thankful for all circumstances. And I told him, I said, I got to be honest with you, preacher John. I said, the truth is I am going through some heavy stuff right now. And I am definitely not thankful for this circumstance. And he thought for just a moment. And then he said, he goes, Robin, the scripture says to be thankful in all circumstances, not for them. And when he said that, that was a huge epiphany moment for me. I mean, in about a three second time span, my whole perspective of what it means to be thankful just changed right there on the spot. And, and it reminded me, you know, have you ever been driving down, uh, you know, the highway somewhere, maybe in southern Illinois or Iowa or Kansas, and you look to your right and there's this huge cornfield, you know, they're everywhere, right? And, and you look to your right and maybe you're going west at this point and you look and, and there's just corn everywhere. You, you can't really see the distance between the rows or anything. They're just, you can't see any rhyme or reason to how the planting took place. It's just corn, and you don't know how deep it goes or how many rows there are. You just see the stalks everywhere. And then after traveling west for a little while, all of a sudden you take a northerly turn. And then when you look on your right once more, you see the same cornfield. But this time you can see the individual rows, right? You can see exactly how much distance between each line of stalks that there really is. You can even see to some degree how deep those rows go. You begin to see the method to the planting that took place. And so it's just by turning direction just slightly that you, you, you see this cornfield in a completely different way. And so that was kind of like me in worship that morning. I had a whole new perspective on what it meant to be thankful. And, and here's what I came away with that morning, that day, really, that, that I've held on to ever since. And that is that thankfulness is not dependent on your circumstances. I mean, thankfulness, it, it's, it's an attitude of heart. I think that thankfulness is a choice that we make. And once I began to really understand that and to truly soak it into who I am, once I made that turn, if you will, it all began to line up. Now, not all at once, but a little each day, I started to gain a deeper and deeper perspective of what thankfulness looks like and how I can choose that daily in my life, regardless of of what's going on around me in my life. Because what I realized is that in spite of the hard times, you know, I did have two beautiful kids. You know, and in spite of the difficult financial situation I was in at that moment, I was still better off than 90% of our world's population. 
And, and truth of the matter was, I, I did have friends who supported me. I did have a family who loved me. I had a relationship with the God of all creation who day in and day out offered, offered me a, a grace and a peace that passeth all understanding. I mean, sometimes life is hard. I mean, we all know that. I mean, maybe you're in the midst of that, feeling those effects of tough times right now. You know, maybe you are heart deep in a broken relationship, just trying to navigate through a uh, painful divorce. Or, or maybe you're at the end of your rope trying to care for family members who are struggling with illness. Or, or maybe you're trying your best to just stabilize your financial situation in the midst of a job loss or a bad economy. Or maybe you're struggling with things from your past which threaten the pathway for forgiveness in your life. I mean, whatever it is that you're going through... You need to know that there's probably no one here today, whether they're in this room or watching online, that hasn't at some point in their life treaded through the deep and rough waters of what we know life to be. And you might be there right now. And we know that it's, it's easy to be thankful in the good times. But what about... In all times. Well, even in those moments, we can still look for gratitude in our heart. I mean, even in those moments, the choice is ours to be thankful. In all moments, we can look for gratitude in our hearts, regardless of the situation around us. In those moments, we can choose to be thankful. And folks, there is really good news 
to be had in, in this scripture that we've read for today. And, and that good news is that no matter what is going on in your life, no matter what surrounds you in the moment, the good news is that we are not defined by that circumstance. Instead, as people of Christ, we are defined by our relationship with Jesus. I mean, we are the children of an awesome, awesome God. And that is our good news. And just think about it. I mean, what if... Um, what if at the end of life, you know, when that time comes, we go from this place to the next. What if, uh, what if in that moment when we stand before God, you know, and we have to make account of how we lived our life. What if we were judged not by what we accomplished in our lives, right? What if we were not judged by, you know, what job title we had or, or what kind of car we drove or what kind of house we lived in or how successful we were or how many sermons we preached? I mean, what if we were judged by none of that, but rather by how thankful we were while we lived? I mean, what if that was the deciding factor? Gratitude. I mean, for me, it was the difference between two words in worship on a Sunday morning, and it changed it all for me. And I came to know that I don't want to leave this place as one who was not thankful, who did not appreciate everything that she had while she had it. And I've come to know that that choice is mine. I choose thankful. Will you pray with me, please? We praise you, Lord. We offer you thanksgiving. We offer you all that we are. We offer you our circumstances, the events in our life, both good and bad. We offer everything that we have to you. Because we know that you are the one who not only loves us as we are and for who we are, but you can move us from that place, from that circumstance that feels hard right now. You can move us to that place of gratitude. Lord, help us to have that thankful heart. Help us, Lord, to have that gratitude. We pray.